Alright? Fahawa, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders, the great most and Shalom, man, to the sincere and elect out there, teaching this truth and faith in, 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 in you know, sincerity, man. You know, of course, double honors unto our apostles and elders, man. Okay. And basi basically, we um, just go and touch quickly, you know, on, on, on this topic of reincarnation that's been coming up this week. And the aspect that we, we, we don't um, speak about is slavery as in us getting these heathen in slavery and how it just links up with reincarnation because if you actually observe the point right no one upon this earth physically in in terms of this age and, and, and this year and this lifetime had us in transatlantic slavery and, and past slavery however through reincarnation through the scriptures and through understanding those same individuals will experience slavery because they were their forefathers man all right so with that bro can you get um uh satan <laughs> get um isaiah 14 and 21 mm. and ezekiel i believe just chapter eight to chapter 18 and of course you brothers if a point comes up you speak up Isaiah chapter 14 verse 21 Prepare slaughter for his children For the iniquity of their fathers That's right man You want to speak on it up? Let me read it again It says prepare slaughter for his children For the iniquity of their fathers you got a lot of people that come up to the camps And they say oh you know it wasn't me That put you in slavery so and so forth hmm. When really it was you man You know because we understand That reincarnation is in the scriptures and not only that, but you're benefiting from that as well, man. You know? And that's why you've got these elites. They set up their, you know, they keep things in their own family lines and whatever. You know? Uh, and basically set up their, the scripture says they're in this house that their houses shall continue forever. Why would they uh, go so hard in setting up their houses to continue for, for so-called forever if they didn't, if they weren't going to reap the benefits of that coming back in reincarnation? That shows you that the elites know that they're gonna come back in that in in the, in their same in the same lines, man. Mm -hmm. In the same lot, you know, like the elites, for example. Hey, and that's know? why they always keep it in the family. That's it. That's it. They always keep it in the family and close knit because they know that reincarnation is is a real thing, man. Exactly. Yeah, and it affects right. your future and your your future children because you are your children coming back, man. That's it. Yeah. You know? Babu Shah. Mm. Can you read that scripture again, Babu Shah? Kana. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. So that's it. So so. As this brother, you know, explained, man, right? you know, they have to pay for their sins, man, right? Yeah. And somebody might complain and say, oh, well, how can I pay for the sins if, if it wasn't me, man? I wasn't there. No, oh, present. You know, right? So, Rock right, chapter 41, verse 7. I right, swear, I was thinking about that. Right? Uh, the children will complain of an ungodly father. Yeah, man, so. And that's exactly what's taking place. They'll be like, well, you know, it's sad what slavery happened, but we didn't do it. We didn't do it. You gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. Okay. Right? So that's what they're doing. They're complaining over the ungodly father saying, look, man, it was it was it wasn't me, it was my forefathers, man. Mm-hmm. Keep going up. Yeah, it says, the children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake. They shall be reproached. For his sake, and that's what we, we, we are saying now. You Edomites have to go into slavery. And all you heathens, and all you nations, chiefly you fucking Edomites, which is so Hawaii. Yeah. Right? And you're being reproached for things done in the past to yourselves because you was that that person. But but then again, a person might say, oh. It wasn't me though. So let's read this and hold the Deuteronomy chapter 20 as well. Right. No, is it Exodus 20 or Deuteronomy 20? Exodus 20. Exodus 20. I've got that. Alright, it says um this is um Ezekiel 18 and 20. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, 
neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Ooh. So, bro, is there a contradiction now in the Bible? Nope. Why? Because that's what this the sit down's for. Mm -hmm. Because if the scripture says the son shall not bear the iniquity of the. I'm gonna read that again and read and read the scripture again in Isaiah. But let me read it again, man. Right? You know, because you know, yeah, see, 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 this truth does things in a repetition, man. You know, so that's how you learn. That's how we were taught by the apostles. So it says, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. Read that scripture. It says, Isaiah 14 and 21, prepare slaughter for his children yeah. for the iniquity of their fathers. And, and, and Exactly. So, <laughs> and if you go into that word, the child is born. You know, son. So, you know, are you now saying there's a contradiction in the Bible? The reason why, right, that they pay for the sins of their forefathers is because guess what? They are their forefathers. That's right. Mm -hmm. And if you have a point, bro, and then also hold the, um, um, you know, the guy who's blind from his birth. I mean, oh, yeah, John that, 9. What's that, John 9? Yeah. yeah. Jo uh, Exodus 20 and 5. It says, uh, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Talking about the idols. Can you start from verse 1? Right. Just, just, this is yeah. Exodus 20 and 1. And Yahweh spake all these, these words, saying, I am the Lord Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not make any, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image That's right. or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Yeah. Thou shalt not bow down thyself, bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous God, yep. visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children mm -hmm. unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Now, why does it say the third and fourth generation that hate me? Right? Because through the process of re re reincarnation, right, you get judged for your past sins. Right? And hold second Ezra 14 of I'll, I'll read it. I'll go, I'll, I'll got it. Second Ezra 14 of 35. But for the process of reincarnation, you come back in the third and fourth exactly. generation. And our people understood that, which ties into John 9. Mm -hmm. You know? Because us getting the, 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 these heathen in slavery proves that that reincarnation has to exist because the bible says what he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity mm -hmm. no edomite here out here who's 25 was 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 in ghana when there was the snatching up the slaves or in nigeria yeah please go ahead deuteronomy chapter 24 verse 16 the fathers shall not be put to death for the children mm. Neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers. That's that's we're really emphasizing the same point. Go ahead. Every man shall be put to death for his own sin. That's it. Every <laughs> man shall be put to death for his own sin. That's it. You know? Hey, what well, if I can say something, bro? Yeah. We're further reiterating the point in Exodus 20 and 5. Visit uh, visiting the iniquity of the uh, the, the children of, unto the third and fourth generation. Of hey, if you if you if you if you're paying the price for something that you've done in your past life, then really you're paying for your own sin, okay. right? Which like the brother was, has lined up perfectly, John 9, we're about to go into that, man, you know? So really you pay for your own sins, man, right? So it's not it's not enough just to come up to the camp and be like, oh, I wasn't there. Bro, you're going you gonna, you gonna to receive them stripes, man, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah for real, man, because everyone, everyone was in the past, man, as it tells you in, um, Ecclesiastes, there's yeah, nothing yeah, new we're under gonna the sun. That. We're gonna yeah, get that. We're gonna get all of that. Keep, keep, keep making your point. Yeah, man. like there's nothing new under the sun, and that that is actually speaking literal, man. There is nothing new under the sun. We're under the sun, man. So anything that you know has a habitation underneath the sun has already been here before, man. 
Everything's recycled. Yeah, everything is recycled. Reincarnated. Yeah, reincarnated. Regeneration, man. You know, newborn babies. You know, it's, it's all been here before, man. Hey, why do you think? Hey, why do you think certain people are born jacked up? Exactly, you can't. You know, that's the judgment of they. They come fresh out the spirit, bro. Yeah. And they got, and they got one arm. Yeah. What's the justification you for know? that? Because we know the Lord is a righteous power. Mm -hmm. He's not just going to send someone here jacked up if they Pain. haven't done something. Mm -hmm. You know, to actually the, the, the desire that to, to deserve, deserve so like, yeah, that judgment, man. That judgment was placed upon them for what they'd done in their past life. Right. You know. I got that John nine now. This is John chapter 9 verse 1 And as Jehovah Shai passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Mm. Jehovah Shai answered, neither has this man sinned, nor his parents Baba Gashar, can you read that again from the top? Right, John chapter 9 verse 1 And as Jehovah Shai passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth Blind from his birth Right? Yep. Blind from his birth. So, so this guy was blind from his actual birth, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? So what so, so how can he sin if he was born if he was blind from birth? Yeah. So if, and and why did the people ask that? Yeah. The people asked that because they understood what his judgment could have been. Yeah. So that's why the brother said if you see someone that's jacked up. You know, with a stretched out face, you know, a swollen head, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, it, 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 in, in vain, oh yeah, something happened in the hospital. Yeah. Or, he's, or you see someone born in his foot is backwards. Yeah, 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 God. You know, it, 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 oh yeah, yeah, you know, nah. He, he did something in his past life, that's why he's yeah. getting judged for it. Yeah, hey, like you said, bro, it's like those people had an understanding of that, man. That's why he said that statement. Yeah, and nowadays people don't understand these things. That's why everyone has this tremendous fear of death, man, because they don't know what happens after you die. But according to the scriptures, you go before the Lord, you get judged, and you get sent back, man. You know, but that is still something to fear if you yeah, ain't yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they're fearing for the wrong thing. They're fearing they just don't, they're gonna go to hell or something like that, man. It just shows you the darkness that's been put upon the people. You know? Man. And it says, verse 2, and his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Which is further going into the point where the brother Shakar was expounding on. You know, they understood reincarnation because why are they saying that this man sinned? Mm -hmm. Hold on a minute, he was born from birth. He was blind from birth. Yeah. So how could how could he have sinned if he was he was born? How how could his him being blind be the reason of of him sinning? Sinning basically when, when it was when from was, birth. When it was mm. from birth. If you only have one right. lifetime. Exactly. If you only have one lifetime, explain to me how you sin him before you was born. Yeah. You know, which cuts that whole point where everyone says like, oh, well, why is there so much evil in the world? Why was I born like this? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But hey, man, you know we got that job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a precept. Second, Ezra. Seven, right, and fifty-six. For while we lived and committed iniquity, we considered not that we should begin to suffer for it after death. Mm. Let me read that again. For while we lived and committed iniquity, we considered not that we should begin to suffer for it mm. after death. Right. That ain't talking about you're in hell, you're tap dancing, mate. Yeah. You know? That's talking about you coming under the sun. Get that in Ecclesiastes. The place of judgment, man. You know? And that's why that all ties into what? Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Yeah. When it speaks about, about, about the blessings and the curses. You know? Well, when you speak about the blessings and the curses it says it says when these curses shall come upon thee mm. upon thee and thy seed right because guess what you are going to come back in the spirit as your seed and it says you know the the um the um lord speaking about you and your king 
shall, shall, shall go into slavery, man. That was was back then, but eventually it took place through reincarnation. Oh. And we, we don't worry, we are gonna tie this all into reincarnation of them being in slavery. We're just bringing out examples of sinning and paying for your sin. Oh. And putting us in slavery is sin. So you gotta pay for that. Go ahead. Yep. It's Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun, the place of judgment. So the place of judgment, as this brother has spoken, is, is is on the earth, man. It ain't hell. Under the sun is what? Earth. Okay. Because if you keep going, it's going to expound on it. Yeah. And it says, <clears throat> it says the place of judgment, that wickedness was there. Yeah. And that the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. Yeah. Wickedness and righteousness is established upon earth. Because through the actual law, which is upon earth, you know how a person is sinning or transgression. Mm. So the place of, of where sin was taking place is on earth, where the place where... where uh, where people were being in righteousness was taking place is on earth. So that place under the sun is earth. Mm -hmm. that's, where you, that's where you live out your judgment. Yep. Go you ahead. Know? Before, before, after being judged by the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got a quick precept. This is a uh, second Corinthians chapter five, verse 10, which I'm going to go back to it. It ties into it. Okay. And it says, for we must all, verse 10, for we must all appear oh, before yeah, the judgment yeah, yeah, seat. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. that everyone may receive things done in his body, whether, uh, yep, go ahead. Mm. according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Mm. That's right, man. That's right. So, so when you die, you just go into the spirit world, and it. it, it, it and and then you know, when you're in the spirit world, it gets established how you should pay for them actions when you come back. It's simple. Okay. Yep. I got, I got back to Ecclesiastes yeah. chapter three verse seventeen, and it says, "I said in mine heart, Yahweh shall judge the righteous and the wicked, mm. but there was a time, for there was a time for every purpose and for every work. And for every work." You know, and that place of judgment that you was going into, bro, is that place of judgment is under the sun, like the scriptures say. You know, yeah. just after we come before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, which what the brother Yekonam was going into, man. Yep. Yeah. You know, everyone has to get judged for the works that they've been doing. So it's not enough just to be like, oh, you know, you know, it doesn't matter anymore. I wasn't even there. Nah, bro. You, you look, you were, you were flexing that whip. Yeah. You know, you were doing all, all manners of heinous acts. You were shedding the blood of the Israelites, you know, that's the saints of the Most High. So you must pay for that. You you can't escape it. He's like my breath trying to wash the blood off your hand and it ain't going. No, man, you're going you gonna to continue to be bugged out so long as you see the prophets on the street cursing your ass out, telling you, you reap what you sow. Like the scriptures say, man. Mm. Everyone must pay for their deeds, man. And it's the spirit because that's why the scriptures say they hold themselves not guilty. Can't. You know, they persecute us and hold themselves not guilty because they know that judgment is coming in the spirit, man. They can feel it. These Edomites know they're going to get judged, man. They don't know how yet. But they know it's gonna happen, man. It's a, it's a, it's a feeling that you know these wicked have towards our, our people, man. Already you know? condemned. Yeah, you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans from all the way from Jacob and Esau, they're condemned, man. You know, from the beginning of time, they've been condemned, man. Got a precept? Kind. Uh, uh, oh, so yeah. like, go on, bro. Yeah, I just had, a, I had one to, to, to just try and back you up. This is um, Second Ezra, fourteen and thirty-five. For after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again mm. oh that's a straight cut yeah it's, it doesn't get more plainer than that <laughs> <laughs> come on yo bro you gotta read that again bro. for second Ezra 14 and 35 uh. for after death shall the judgment come come on place oh, a God, yeah place yeah. a judgment yeah mm -hmm. yeah when we shall live again God. sent straight back down man to that place under the sun that's it you know you're gonna live it out and you you know oh I've I've more for I've more for you on this, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and then shall the names of the righteous be 
manifest mm. and the works of the ungodly shall be declared mm. Mm -hmm. and that's the direct precept to what you read mm -hmm. that under the place of the sun was, was there was righteousness and wickedness Wicked. yep, mm. yep, yep, yep. and yep. The, the, the works of the ungodly being declared in terms of Esau is his slavery because yep. mm -hmm. yep. he yep. died yep. and he lived again and he got paid for it Come on. that's right you got anything to say, bro? Yeah, I got a quick precept. Yeah. Col uh, Colossians chapter 3 and 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive the wrong which he have done. Mm. And there is no respect to a person's. Mm. So, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, if you, you look, man, if you've done wrong, you're going to pay for that, man. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you're working, if you're working, if, if you're mastered in the arts of iniquity, you know, <laughs> especially working iniquity on the children, the children of the Most High, Yasha Allah, the princes of the power. Then you're gonna have to pay for that. Why? Because we're the apple of the Lord's eye. Didn't the scripture says thou should have not even looked. Alright? Now you got certain uh you got certain crackers that were paying tickets to see Jake get lynched in fucking town centres and shit, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? You mean to tell me that the Lord, the Heavenly Father, has got his only begotten, his, his chosen people on the face of the earth, and he's just gonna turn a blind eye to that man? You know? All the blood, the trailer tears. All, all the blood that was shed, the scripture says the blood cannot be cleansed but by the blood of him that shed it. You know? So you're going to have to pay for all the iniquity. The Lord ain't no respect to a person's man. He's, yo, you fucked up. You through. Mm. You even got jakes that are getting born, you know, that, that, that are born, that, that, that are maimed, man. The mm. Lord ain't no respect to a person. That's why the scripture says in Joel, whoever perished being innocent, man. Mm -hmm. I have a precept for Come you up. This is um, Lamentations 5 and 7. Our fathers have sinned and are not. Mm. Which means what? That our forefathers have died and passed. Right? So it says, Our fathers have sinned and are not. And we have borne their iniquities. Mm -hmm. Which is like what? The curses. Yeah. Basically, what Jake is saying here in Lamentations is like, Look, bro, our fathers are dead, man. Our fathers sinned. Our fathers went off. And... and we're bearing their sins. Yeah. But what did the scripture say? The son shall not pay for the sin for the father. Neither shall the That's father it. pay for the, the, the son's iniquity. Go on. You pay for your own. You pay for your own. You pay for your own. Man. So the question is now to us is that if we pay for our own, why can't, why, why, why is Esau getting mad that he got to pay for his own? Go, Go ahead. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Well, it's in the same chapter we read earlier. Three, but I'm going to start off a couple of verses. Verse 14. I know that whatsoever Yahweh doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, or nothing can be taken from it. And Yahweh doeth it, that men should fare before him. That which, that which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been. And the Most High requireth that which is past. Mm. So the things that you've, been do, you, you've done in your past life, you gonna have to look, man. The Lord's look, man. The Lord's pulling up that tab. Uh -huh. All the shit that you've been doing. That's why. They, that's why. Uh, back then, over two thousand years ago, they said, "Who sinned? Was it this man?" Why did they know that? Because why did they know to ask a question like that? Because it's like, look, the Lord will require if whatever you did in your past life. Look, man. This day, the place under the sun is the place of judgment. And we proved that. And we proved that, man. You know. All right. Now get. Revelation, man. Mm -hmm. Revelation, chapter 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Right? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Speak on it. Come right? On. Hey, so the scriptures say, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Now, who led us into captivity, man? In the transatlantic slave trade. Mm. Right? The so-called white people led us into um, captivity, man. Mm. So how are they going to go into captivity when most of those people are dead and gone? You know, there's only a few people alive. There's only a few Jake alive that will actually know. experience, yeah. you know, the, the, the effects of slavery, man. You know? Mm. So even the Jake's dead, the Edomites are dead from that time. Yeah. So that explains reincarnation. Those people are going to come back and they're going to be enslaved when the Lord comes back, man. When Yahweh Shai cracks some clouds. Yeah. You know? And they're going to be put to work, man. They're going to be put into slavery for a thousand years, as it tells you in the uh, the Revelation. book of Revelations. Yeah. You know? But then it said, he that leadeth into captivity Can't. And shall go into captivity. Yeah. Can't. So that's, that's the so-called white man. Exactly. He led us into captivity, man. And again, to play, 
to, pl to, to pl 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 play on the other side, what Edomite on this earth right now, alive right now, had you Jakes in slavery? Like, as, as in, in this age, in this lifetime, had us in slavery? None. None. But why are they going to go into slavery? I'm going to read it again in 2nd Ezra 14 and 35. For after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again. Correct. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. Because when we have you in slavery, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's gonna be um, declared why we're having you in slavery. Yep. The reason why we're having you in slavery is because you had us in slavery. And, and you had us in slavery in our past lives. Get um Jeremiah 13 and 16. Hey, we still have um, you know, all, all the owners of these banks. Yeah. You know, Barclays, Lloyds, Goldman Sachs, you know, the the, the Rothschilds. You still profit. They still profit from slavery, man. They 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 come all the way back. They used to have the whip. They used to be whipping us in slavery, man. But then they're, they're in these prominent positions, man, because they're the same people coming back and falling into their lots that they had in the past. Because they're through their children, man. So it's the same people that we're actually dealing with. And we're still in the lower state, just like we was in the lower state just then, because we've fallen right back into our lot, because we still have the curses on us. You know? Yes. So everything is reincarnation in, it, reincarnated into the same situation as it was back then, man. Just as Esau has to pay for his sins. Mm -hmm. Look, the transatlantic um, slave trade took place towards the end of the 1400s, right? Come. That curse was said to us three, four thousand years prior. Mm. It says, "You shall be sold on you, and thou, thou shall be sold unto your enemies for for, for born men and born women. No man sh 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 shall buy you." Come. Those same Jakes, those same Jakes, was prophesied that. So when it, so when so when the scripture says he that leadeth into captivity shall go to that ca captivity, you fucking Edomites can't exclude yourself, can't, cause you l led us into captivity, in slavery, right? That's why the scripture says prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of the fathers, can't, because guess what, the son shan't pay for the sins of the fathers, you have you you are your forefathers. That's why it's, it's possible, to, which us not all technically are, but it's possible to, to actually be a sinner from, from, from birth. Yeah. Esau was rejected from even in the womb, man. We was blessed from the womb. Go ahead, bro. Um, and it says, uh, it says, He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's mm. right. All right, who, who's being patient, man? Oh, yes. You know, who are the saints? The saints are the Israelites, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you, that's, a, that's, that's, that's directly aimed at Esau, man. Why? Because he actually led us into captivity. So he's actually going to go, key word being us. It was actually us that went in captivity. God. Yeah. Like, reincarnation exists. You know? We were there. We were on them slave ships in Thou and Thy King. Yeah, yeah. Thou and Thy King. You know? We weren't excluded from that. We had to we had to drink of that cup, man. Yeah. You no. Know? So, so that's why scripture said in, in, in the lamentation, Lord, uh, our fathers are sinned, but we 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 are bearing their sins. Mm. You know, because Jake we were at, we're, we're being simple. God. Really, we're paying for our sins because we sinned. You know. And it's like, um, get, uh, you still yeah, yeah, can, can you hold that, but read uh, Revelation uh, 2 and 25, quickly. Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works to the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Exactly. Now, the scripture says to him will I give power over these nations, right? Now, if you think about it, if these heathens haven't sinned, then they can't just, 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 just be, 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 be 
chastise. Every action in the scriptures is, is justified. Uh, like when we put these these crackers of slavery, we we actually go and put the spirit upon them to sin, mm -hmm. so that we can judge them. Mm -hmm. Right now, before we um uh, entered into the land of Canaan, the um, Lord said what that basically they had to sin in that land so that we are we are justified to that's go right. and destroy them out the land that's right so so they had to sin yeah so if we are going to put you in slavery you have to sin to receive that judgment and even going a little bit deeper even with your shy the lord caused your shy to sin when he was adam mm -hmm. when he was solomon so he could justify him being crucified and being the sacrificial lamb for the nation of Israel. It didn't yeah. just happen. There yeah. was a fresh spirit put on the scene. Yeah. Mm. There had to be a, a sequence of things to take place to justify the perfect work that the Lord was putting together. So every action is justified. And yeah. and, and, and in terms of this topic, the justification of these Edomites going to slavery is because you put us in slavery That's right. via reincarnation. Come on. Hey, and the key key point that you made as well, bro, about Yahweh Shai, huh. you know, pay for the sins of the nation of Israel. But hey, pertaining to this topic as well, mm -hmm. in terms of reincarnation, pay pay for his own sins for as well. His own sins, as Solomon. Huh. You know, as Solomon, we can get that. Yeah, yeah, we can, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, we we you know. And it says, verse twenty-seven, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive received of my father, you know. <laughs> So that's what's going to happen in the kingdom, man. You yeah, know, yeah. why are you going to be receiving yeah. that? Like the brother made the example of, of, of the Canaanites, you know, the, the most odious works of witchcraft that they were performing yeah. in that land. You know, the Lord is the Lord is a, a just power. <laughs> so really, uh, you know, it's righteous indignation, yeah. you yeah. know, or righteous judgment. That's what happened. Yeah. They got put, they got that hell put on them because of the, the odious works of witchcraft that they were doing. Mm -hmm. We ain't just going to bust up a heaven. Uh, uh, you know, without yeah. judging him, yeah, there's right. got to be judgment to that. Let's see with a pipe. This, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the reason. <laughs> like, why, master, master, why you hit me? Yeah, yeah. You, you know, yo, because this is what you did. Yeah, that's what Esau does. Yeah, you know, we are gonna tell you why we whacking your head off, man. We gonna yep. give you justification. You know? Can you read that in um in Jeremiah? Yeah, Jeremiah thirty and sixteen. Therefore, all they devour, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All they that devour thee. Past tense. Go ahead. Shall be devoured. Yeah, shall and, shall be devoured. Shall. Yep. Good. Future tense. Mm -hmm. And all thine adversaries. Yeah. Every one of them. Yeah. <laughs> shall go into captivity. Yeah, every yeah. one of them shall go into captivity. Give me the account in the scriptures where, apart from under the, uh, uh, under the time of of, of King David and and, and and Solomon, that we had all these. He, he 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 during the time of, of King David and Solomon, oppressed these heathen, but now are still oppressed. So that's how you know that 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 can't even be included in terms of this scripture. Mm -hmm. Aside from the fact that this scripture was already was written after that, like after the time period of Solomon, anyway. Right. So that's a future prophecy. Mm -hmm. But it says they devoured us. Done. During who? From 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 Assyria, from Babylon, yeah, right, from 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 Greece, yeah, from the Medes, from the Persians, yeah, from Rome, to the feet of Rome, and during the the time period of Judges, man, oh. the time period of Judges, we went in slavery uh, under Moab and and Midian and all these nations. Every nation has had us in slavery, man. Yeah, right. this, that that time span you've just mentioned, that's. That's periods of hundreds of years past, man. Yeah, thousands. So thousands of years. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you have to believe in reincarnation to believe in the scriptures. Yeah. You have to do a reincarnation, man. Yeah. There's no way you can talk about the scriptures and say you can't, you don't believe in reincarnation. Or your stories are not going to add up. It won't make sense. It, it can't. won't make sense. Because how, 
how how you gonna how are you gonna gonna break down to a guy who who wasn't back in the fourteen hundreds that he got to pay? He bro, I wasn't there. I'm nineteen. Well, if I can say this, okay. we've been passed around from pillar to post, like the brother was saying, but underneath all these other different nations, right? At the same time, even in this captivity, now that we've all been woken up to this knowledge, hey, we know why we're paying for what we're paying for. Yeah. We're under the curses. And the scripture says in Deuteronomy 30 and 7 that the Lord was going to put these curses upon our enemies. Yeah. You know, that's future tense. So they're going to know when they got the curses on them, you know, because we know why we're getting, you know, why we're the last side, the first side, why we're getting fucked up, shot down like dogs in the street. Mm. You know, we know why it's happening to us. That's why it's going to be righteous indignation when it's returned upon your head, you know? That's and you're right. going to have to pay for your sins, mm. what you did to the children of God. That's right. You know? And it says, every one of them shall go into captivity. Every one. That means that not, not, not one of you can actually leave yourselves out of the equation. <laughs> it's, yeah, you know, you know, eat them out, hide them behind a bush. Yeah. You know, some shaggy. I didn't it, touch you. It wasn't me. Yeah, no, yeah, bro. Yeah. Every one of them. All you heathen. All they that devoured thee. All of you heathen have had a, a, a part to play in having your foot on the, on the necks of the children of Israel. Bro, that's this right. one just says, thou, thou, thou sh shouldn't have even looked. Yep, that's, yep. yep, that's it. You shouldn't have even looked, bro. Yep. You shouldn't have even seen it with your eyes, bro. Yeah, because we... if you look, why didn't you do something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? That's it. You, 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 you people out here, you want to be uh, <laughs> Captain Saberhose and you want to be, you know, you want to be down for this Esau society, you want to be citizen. Citizens arrest and all of that. Yeah, yeah. You know, stop him, faith. You know, all, you know, Hello. doing it. You know, fucking. <laughs> you know, shoulder rolling. You know, criminals and thieves and that. But when it came to us getting our ass whooped in all these other under Shush. all these other different nations, mm. the Lord says that I shouldn't even have looked. That's right. You guys just stood there, man. Hey, even Esau can get you on certain laws where if you witness something, can you do nothing about it? Yeah. You can get in trouble. Yeah. You know, so it shows you how Esau's a hypocrite, man. Mm-hmm. You know. I have a precept. This is um first Maccabees two and ten. What nation have not had a part in her kingdom mm. and gotten of her spoils? Wow. So it's, it, that's a rhetorical question, man. It's like who? It's like it's like you only see it like a a, a a a a hole at school, man. You know, and then and someone says, man. Who hasn't like popped her? Popped her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like in terms of this, it's actually uh, everyone in the school has popped her, man. Yeah. Actually, everyone has. In, in, in terms of us. Yeah. Because the, the scripture there is, is calling us a her, man. Mm. All these heathen have fucked us over, man. Mm -hmm. You know, have fucked us up, man. Yeah. Please, eh? Go ahead. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 5. For who should have pity upon thee? O Jerusalem, or who shall be moan thee? That's the, the, the key word. Who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? That's it. And that's true. Who? Because even up until this very day, yeah, yeah, you, 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 you might have that one guy who's cut and feeling sorry for himself. Yeah, man, you know, the Hebrew Israelites are... Ne no. No one gives a fuck about us, man. So why, so why should we give a fuck about you and going into slavery? Mm. And because we understand that, we're going to break down as to why your ass going to get judged for, for slavery, man. That's right. Righteous indignation. Righteous bro. indignation, man. Mm. Mm. Righteous indignation. And slavery is only going to take place through, through reincarnation. The spirit of the prophets is subject unto the prophets. Mm -hmm. The spirit of the scoffers is subject to the scoffers. And, and the spirit of the oppressors is subject to the oppressors, man. That's mm -hmm. right. You do, you, you, you do oppress us back then. So you are going to pay for that oppression now. Ooh, precept. Go on. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 22. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh thy power, <clears throat> thus saith thy Lord and the Lord Yahweh and thy power, that pleadeth the cause of this people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, mm. even the dregs of the cup of my fury, mm. thou shalt no more drink of it again. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. You will put it into the hand of the afflicted. Again, the main point we established during the sit down was what? The son shall not pay for the sins of the father. Mm. Neither shall the son. Father for the sins of the son. Neither shall the father pay for the, for the sins of the son. 
But the scripture also says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Correct. Yeah. So you got to break down to me. Is that a, a contradiction in the scriptures? Yeah. And every man pays for their own sin. As it says in Exodus to the third and fourth. That's right. Generation. Correct. So all you fucking people coming back to pay for your sins, you're paying for your sins and you are going to slavery because you were your forefathers, man. Again, they, so some guy who's who, who, who 15 now, right? He didn't feel physically have had us in slavery, but he is going to go into slavery because of reincarnation. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just that, it's that, that simple through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel's right. Yeah. And yeah. it says, But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, Bow down, that we may go over. And, and that's basically, to be honest, that that scripture is, means we're through. Mm -hmm. We're just we're, we're just we're, we're just lying there. We've been walked over, man. Yeah, yeah you shouldn't have looked. Shouldn't have looked. But the thing is, you did worse than just look. You you said bow down. Help me make a, you walk all over us and, and grab this up, man. Yeah. You know. And that's it, that's yeah. still taking place to this day, man. To this day. Get you know? um. Oh, Obadiah chapter one and ten and one and eighteen. The Lord will, you know, go in on that if you ain't got anything else. Right. Let's finish this off. Yeah. And it says that we may go over and thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. Mm. So you literally walk the fuck all over us, man. Mm -hmm. All right. You ain't seeing no, you know, these curses ain't on the heathen nations. They're on us. All right. You, you, you heathen nations, you... You, you know, you have all your summits and shit. The scriptures scripture speak about our enemies in Psalms 83. You don't think there's going to be payment for that, man? That's it's balance. You guys have, you know, passing around our women. Literally, the whole, you know, Jer Jerusalem is lacking unto a woman before yeah, the Lord. A, a hoe. A hoe. We're just getting passed around by all these heathen fucking nations. They're just walking all over us, man. Yo, fam, you want to you wanna hit that after? Yeah. yeah yo, yo, yeah, fam, man. yo, 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 get, yo, she'll get bad lineups and that. Yeah. You know? You got heathen nations with their pants down. Israel's yeah. just sucking yeah. them all off, man. Yo, yeah. some heathen, bro. Using yeah. and abusing us, man. <laughs> yeah. You know that's what happened. Hey, Esau even used to use us as, uh, you know, even our children. They used to use them as um, uh, what's it called? Not uh, uh, body warmers, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put their feet on them, and there's there's pictures of that. Mhm. Mm yeah, they used to rape Foot the little warmers. boys as well. Rape the little boys, rape the yeah. girls. And paint them in gold and silver. Yeah, Joel. Esau's a faggot, man. He's a faggot, yeah. man. E Esau will paint a Jake, a little Jake boy, three yeah. years old and so the, so the boy for a Harlem. And silver yeah, paint. Yeah, silver and gold and that and deck him, put him you no know, earrings on earrings, him. Earrings, you know. Glitter. Oh, like, glitter. Sprinkle, sprinkle <laughs> glitter yeah. uh, and a person already covered in silver paint. Hey, goodbye, Uncle Tom shows you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking about. Very vividly, man. Like, that shows you. If you want to. That is so. No, man. It's so you're a freak, man. Yeah. Fucking you're freak. a fucking devil, freak, man. man. But you ain't got to pay for that? You're a freak, man. You go and get a, a, a little Jake, three years old, paint him in silver paint. Then you sprinkle some, some glitter on him and get a boner. Esau's a faggot, man. E you're, you're a faggot, man. E fuck Esau, man. Look, man. If you are a so-called white person, if you descend back to the man Esau, right, through, through your father's land, through your seed, you have no hope. Man. You are not going to make it. You will not receive the spirit of the Lord, man. <laughs> Straight. You know, you are profane. You are outside of this. Yep, yeah. You cannot get in here. <laughs> you know, hey, just tell it like it is. Don't say it the scriptures, man. I've got that for you, Ark. Wow. Obadiah 1 and 10. Oh, that's the perfect time to finish on. Go ahead. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. And the, 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 the person who's thou, yeah, is all Edom. All Esau. No, if you want to say, no, technically Esau, e no, no. All Esau, Edom, all of them niggas, man. Yep. You going to pay. Yep. Go on. Yep. And thou shalt be cut off forever. Thou shalt be cut off forever. Them being cut off is, is justified because of the violence that they've done to us in all ages. Mm -hmm. Man, the first the first guy coming up against us when we came out of the wilderness was Esau, man. Yep. Man. Wouldn't even let us pass through the king's highway. Mm -hmm. You know? 
That's that. That's that enmity. That's that hate, man. You know. That's why the scripture says Amalek was the first of these heathen to oppress us, but their latter end is that they should perish forever. Mm -hmm. I, I was thinking I'm about just that. Just thinking of that. See how the spirit work? Yeah. <laughs> hey, and it's funny yeah. as well. Hey, but his, no, well, it said, but his latter end. Latter, his latter end. end. Yeah. But yeah. they in that time period oppressed us. Yeah. But they're going to perish now. How, how are they going to perish now if, if they perished back then? Mm -hmm. Can't. Their seed is back. They're back. And they're going to perish now. And who's the first of the heathen nations that's mentioned as our enemies? Esau. In Psalms 83. First nigga, man. Amalek was the first. Amalek. Mm. You know? Edom. Edom. <laughs> Edom. <laughs> Jump straight to 18. I mean, if there's more underneath, you, you can read. If not, just go to the 18th. It's in the day that thou stoodest. Yeah, yeah, read yeah. that, read that. Verse 11. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces. And and, so now, and that's talking about when we was going into slavery, uh, the, well, well, really, the the, the, the tribes of, of Judah, Benjamin, Levi, in, in the time of um, uh, Babylon, man, right? We, 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 which if you go into the into the apocrypha man right which if you go into the apocrypha man um it they actually help to burn the temple man they actually help to burn the temple man did they actually help to burn the first temple yep you know and 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 that's why they're taking out the apocrypha out of the scriptures man because if you read just just in the King James version, which without the apocrypha, you ain't gonna see that they actually burnt they burnt the temples down, man. You know. Can't. Can't. Keep that and it says, and foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem. Even thou was one of them. Mm. Thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother, in the day in the day that he became a stranger. Neither shouldest, <clears throat> neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of, of in the day of distress. Right? So you shouldn't even have looked, man. Alright? You helped forward that affliction, man. Even when you had Jake trying to trying to run away, you know, from the captivity in Babylon, and you had Edomite snabbing them up, man. Okay. You know? Probably fucking raping our women, slaughtering our children in front of in front of us, taking our women away, man. You shouldn't even have looked, man. Rounding us up. Yeah, you're not your fault, man. You know? It says, and that's the what that goes back to that what? That perpetual hatred, man. Amos 1 and uh, 1 and 11. You know? The Lord said he weren't gonna turn away the punishment of Edom because he did pursue his brother with the sword and had that perpetual hatred, man, and kept his wrath forever. Yeah. So what do you think what do you think this is, man? I have a precept, you know. This is first Ezra is four and forty-five. Thou also has vowed to build up the temple which the Edomites burned when Judea was made desolate by the Chaldees, man. Mm. The, the Edomites burned the temple, man. Right? And spiritually, they're still burning the temple today, man. There's no new thing under the sun. You're doing the same things in different ways, but it's still the same spirit. You're still, you're still consuming the temple, man. So you, you, you are gonna get that judgment, man. Kind. Okay. Obadiah one and eighteen, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph That's a flame. The spirit. <laughs> That's the spirit. If, 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 if you saw the um, title that came up on my phone, mm. th there's a the, the um, brother in Bay. He's basically doing a show on the uh, judgment is going to come upon them, man. Oh, upon the Esau. <laughs> and, then, and he just started the stream now. Wow. Yeah. That's the spirit, man. As I as, as was reading, as reading, uh, it, yeah. reading, reading Obadiah. The yeah. Obadiah 118. You, you know, and it says, and the house of Esau for stubble, mm. and they shall kindle in them and devour them, mm -hmm. and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. Of the house, all. Whether you was born five thousand years ago, no, 
three or four thousand years ago or, 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 or two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. All of you, all. <laughs> That's a special judgment for Esau, boy. Yeah, all of y'all. All. Well, the scripture said every all one of them. them far. Yeah. Every one of them. You ain't gonna have one Edomite just hiding in the bush. Mm. I wasn't there. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it says, and and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai have spoken it. Mm. You know, hey, just say if that's the just save the Lord, man. You know, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's right so man. it's been decreed, judgment will be played out, you know, and you will be judged. It will <laughs> you know, the judgment that plays under the sun, yep. you'll be judged on the earth, and that's where you're gonna get fucked up, man. <laughs> after a thousand years, after a thousand years of slavery, yep. you know, after a thousand years of begging for us to go easier we're gonna you. beat your ass we're gonna hear yeah, we, we we literally going we're gonna beat you with that rod of iron man a bash you know you know that's that shabbat that, that iron rod man bash or shabbat yeah all right we're gonna bust your ass man <laughs> and literally tear limbs off you man that's right, your little man. pippers and your little poly james you know right now they're living with that silver spoon man <laughs> privilege you know you got trust funds mm. yeah but dad got it you know all of that yeah there ain't gonna be none of that in the kingdom man <laughs> We're going to take, take it. Yo. You know, no more Rolls Royces. You know. Take it. Yo. La la lavish nights out in the city. Yeah. Take. Uh, that's going to be all over with, man. Your, your life is going to dramatically change, man. Take Riches to rags, man. Yeah, for real, man. Riches to rags, man. You know? Understood. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. <laughs> so, yeah, man. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's all I had on that. Uh, Is there anything to say? Hey, Esau's going down. Through. Lord willing, very soon. Through. Man. Through. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> man. Through right, the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, you know, Bashim with Kaku Dash. This devil's right. going down, man. Lord willing, right. this year, man. Hey, well, hey, the scripture just said, the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, have spoken it. Gone. It has been written. Gone. <laughs> Gone. That's it. <laughs> All right, man. Cool, bro. That's right. That's right. That's right, man. Hey, man. And uh, 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 we proved the points. That's right, man. For us to get this heathen and slavery, reincarnation must exist. Mm. Again, I'm establish the points. The son shall not pay pay for the <coughs> sins of his father. Neither shall the father pay for the sins of the son. Mm. But the scripture says, "Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers." If you don't understand that, there's gonna be a, a contradiction in, in, in your mind can i get that for you bro okay you can read yeah read it again back in deuteronomy 24 and 16 the father shall not be put to death for the children neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers mm -hmm. every man shall be put to death for his own sin for his own sin mm -hmm. for his own sin so but that contradicts seems to contradict isaiah 14 and 21 Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of our fathers. But, uh, but, but the actual reason as to why that's going to happen, that's going to take place, because guess what? They are their forefathers. Mm -hmm. So that's why it says, when it says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, a person here now could say, well, I didn't put you in slavery, mm -hmm. but he did. V via what? Reincarnation. That's oh. right. Hey, and even if you didn't, yeah. As a nation, you're still going down because it's your nation that done it. Yep. You know, so you're going to pay for whatever your nation done. Yep. Just like we paid for, for our iniquities, man. Yeah. Hey. Same way. Well, Isaiah 40, 14 said what? 14 and 21, prepare slaughter for the children for the iniquity of their fathers. Can't. So what you got to say about that? Can't. That's it, man. Warm to that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Warm, you know. Reincarnation. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man. So, yeah. Alright bro, alright man, so with that we're going to say all praises, all praises to, you. to your Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakodash Double honours unto the apostles and elders of great most honour, and Lord willing you brothers have been edified Shalom, Shalom.